Well, CHS has reported more good results for their third quarter ended May 31st of this year. Joining us now to talk about the latest results, she is the Executive Vice President, Chief Financial Officer, and Chief Strategy Officer for CHS. Olivia Nelligan is with us here today. Olivia, thanks for joining us on the program. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Jesse. It's uh, very nice to join you today. Well, looked like more good, solid earnings numbers for quarter three for CHS. As we take a look at things before we dive into a few of the various segments, can you give us just kind of the, the high-level overview of the uh, earnings report we saw for quarter three? Sure, I'd be happy to. So as you said, good, solid results for the quarter. We reported net income of 297.3 million and that is certainly down over the prior year but we're coming off record highs jesse so we're very happy with our performance this year well and think about this with that performance overall you mentioned down from record highs we know that there's been some challenges in the overall ag economy i have to think weaker commodity prices uh, things like that maybe contributed to a little of the decline in the ag sector potentially, Olivia? Yeah, no, you're absolutely correct. So we've seen um, somewhat more challenging conditions than we had done. Um, so if I kind of break it down between a number of the ag areas, so definitely seeing processing margins come down from the record highs that we had over the last few years. And that's put a little bit of pressure on those processing margins, still way above the historical averages though, Jesse there. So, um, you know, a lot of potential still for the US farmer and for CHS there. And then additionally on the export side of our business, we are seeing um, some lower export volumes you know, agricultural production globally has been very strong the last few years and buyers truly have a choice where they want to buy those commodities. And so as a result, we are seeing that greater competition for um, those uh, global commodities and U.S. exports have been under pressure, both from a volume point of view, and it's also led to some compressed margins as well. I know, too, we've talked about this in past months, uh, looking over the, the various earnings numbers. A lot of CHS's strategic investments continue to perform well amongst the, the broader portfolio of the company. I think about CF Nitrogen, things like that. A lot of those key investments, partnerships, things like that continue to really add uh, to the, the robust bottom line, so to speak. Yeah, absolutely. CF Nitrogen is having another solid year and actually is, is quite comparable to the prior year in terms of, of the numbers that it's generating. So the equity method investments that we have are definitely bolstering performance this year. Uh, so CF Nitrogen being one, we also have our Ardent Mills investment, um, which is a joint venture that we have with Cargill and Conagra, and that's continued to perform well. And then we also have Ventura Foods, which is a 50-50 joint venture with Mitsui, which produces edible oil-based food products um, into 60 different markets globally, and they're having a, a great year as well. So Jesse, that's definitely helping performance as well this year. Well, and also, Olivia, if you think about looking at the first nine months of the fiscal year, you look at those numbers as well. We can talk about that just in general and broadly. More continued good numbers there, even with some of the, the downturn in the overall ag economy that we've seen. You add up the last three quarters of this uh, fiscal year so far, and things really look good there as well for the numbers. Yeah, that's right. We're reporting net income through the first three quarters of fiscal year 2024 of 990.5 million. Um, again, that is down from those record highs we saw in fiscal year 2023. But in fact, the first nine months of this year is our third highest first three quarters of any year in, in CHS history. Just to put that in perspective, it's still a really strong performance. And of course, our diversification across our various product lines really helps with that strength and performance, um, even when conditions are a bit tougher. Well, and more broadly, are you hearing anything, is CHS hearing anything from its cooperative members, farmers and ranchers, just about some of the concern with the overall ag economy here as we work through the summer months and, and work into the fourth quarter of the fiscal year? I mean, it just share with us your thoughts, perspective, what you're hearing in terms of this broader ag economy as a whole right now, Olivia. 
Yeah, well, there's no doubt that we are hearing from owners um, some concern about reducing farm income. And again, I, I got to state that we're back to more historical levels, Jesse, because we were at those really high numbers back in, in 2022. And so we're definitely seeing that come down. But I, I think there's still a lot of optimism, um, both with ourselves and our owners in terms of um, agriculture in this country. You know, trades are, trade, trade flows are, are going well. Trade is open. Uh, we, supply chains are operating for the most part as they should. We can get product to where it's needed and when it's needed for our owners. And, and we still think that there will be a continued increased demand for domestic production of some of our, our products here as, as we see some uh, of those renewable diesel markets grow, for instance, and we're still anticipating that on the horizon. Well, again, good numbers for the third quarter of fiscal year 2024 and the first three quarters of the fiscal year for CHS. And real quick, Olivia, speaking of the CHS owners, uh, I know that coming up here in the uh, next uh, couple of weeks, upcoming virtual owners forums, and I believe all owners are welcome to attend, correct? Yeah, absolutely. We want as many owners as possible to dial into those forums. Um, they're going to be held on July 24th and July 25th. And anybody that wants to can sign up on chsinc.com. You can go to the About Us tab and there is an owner events section there where um, you can sign up. Fantastic. And again, find that details online, chsinc.com. With that, Executive Vice President, Chief Financial Officer, Chief Strategy Officer for CHS, Olivia Nell again. Olivia, thanks for joining us here on the program today. We appreciate the time. My pleasure, Jesse. Thank you.